Good morning, dear audience. This is Noshab A. Khan, attorney at law, adjunct professor, Beacon House National University. Today's topic is of pivotal importance for healthcare providers and healthcare establishments in Punjab. And it has its manifestation for the whole country as well. And in today's uh, topic, I would like to cover one of the very vital aspect of healthcare practice or healthcare provisions in our country. And the topic of my uh, transmission today is that doctors are completely absolved from any criminal liability. And if I quote the relevant law that precisely state that non-medical complications do not constitute medical negligence and any careless act of the healthcare provider cannot be termed as criminal. And this is very important that healthcare provider which is duly qualified and licensed by the relevant regulatory body and healthcare establishment which is fulfilling the criteria in accordance with the minimum service delivery standards meant for implementation at the clinics of the general practitioners, family physicians and specialists. And this is important to mention here that the relevant law provides absolute immunity to the healthcare providers and healthcare establishment from any criminal prosecution. And if I read the relevant lines of the law, which says that no suit, prosecution or other legal proceedings related to provision of healthcare services shall lie against a healthcare service provider except under this Healthcare Commission Act. So that means that unless or until a matter is referred to the law enforcement agencies or unless or until this is ascertained and determined by the Healthcare Commission that there is a criminal negligence, an FIR cannot be lodged against the healthcare provider. A healthcare establishment cannot be sealed. And the irony is that in our country, FIR are, FIRs are lodged against doctors, their healthcare establishments, either clinics, hospitals are sealed and they are dragged into the multiple uh, sort of litigation, which is absolutely against the vision of law, which is absolutely against the judgment rendered by the international courts, rendered by the honorable Pakistani courts. So in my today's transmission, I will apprise my worthy audience that what the honorable court of law has held in this aspect, that is what I will precisely uh, elaborate in my today's transmission. As I said, that known medical complications do not constitute criminal negligence. The relevant law states the recognized and known complications of a medical or surgical treatment are not considered as medical negligence. And furthermore, the Supreme Court of England held that known medical complications do not constitute medical negligence and any careless act of the healthcare provider cannot be termed as criminal. And if I quote the relevant law and the judgment rendered in Montgomery versus Lancashire Health Board and Honorable Supreme Court of England held that the criterion of the duty of care owed by a doctor to his patient is whether he has acted in accordance with the practice accepted as proper by a body of responsible and skilled medical opinion to decide what risks the existence of which a patient should be voluntarily warned and the terms in which such warning if any should be given having regard to the fact that the warning may have is as much an exercise of professional skill and judgment dear audience as i said that healthcare providers and healthcare establishments are absolved from any criminal liability. Here I would like to place reliance on a recent judgment of Honorable Supreme Court of India and that is Dr. Suresh Gupta's case. Supreme Court held that no doubt in the present case the 
patient was a young man with no history of any heart ailment. The operation to be performed for nasal deformity was not so complicated or serious. From the medical opinions produced by the prosecution, the cause of death is stated to be not introducing uh, the relevant tube of proper size as to prevent aspiration of blood from the wound in the respiratory passage. This act attributed to the doctor, even if accepted to be true, cannot be described as negligent act as there was a lack of due care and precaution. For this act of negligence, he may be liable to tort, but his carelessness or want of due attention and skill cannot be described to be so reckless or grossly negligent as to make him criminally liable. This is what Honorable Supreme Court said. So the question is that if after a thorough probe, even this kind of act is not considered as criminally liable, how come, under what authority of law, our prosecution agencies and law enforcement agencies file an FIR from the day one against a healthcare provider. Whereas Healthcare Commission Act clearly provides that it is the commission who will determine first that whether there is a negligence or whether there is a criminal negligence uh, which requires any involvement of law enforcement agencies. So in this context, doctors under the law and the relevant judgments of Honorable Supreme Court are absolved from any criminal liability. Respected audience, the case of uh, Supreme Court of India titled Dr. Sh Suresh Gupta is recently given reverence by the Honorable Lahore High Court Lahore. And I would like to refer that this citation or this precedent is held reliable by the Honorable Lahore High Court Lahore and that is that in Naseem Akhtar's case, while relying on Dr. Suresh Gupta's judgment, the Honorable Lahore High Court Lahore has upheld for initiating criminal proceedings in cases of medical negligence, the complaining person is required to show that the death was due to gross negligence or reckless of the doctor. <clears throat> Thus, a patient when a patient appears to go for medical treatment or surgical operation, every careless act of the medical man cannot be termed as criminal. It can be termed criminal only when the medical man exhibits a gross lack of competence or inaction and wanton indifference to his patient's safety, which is found to have arisen from gross ignorance or gross negligence. Where a patient's death results merely from error of judgment or an accident, no criminal liability should be attached to it. Mere inadvertence or some degree of want of adequate care and caution might create civil liability but would not suffice to hold him criminally liable. Dear audience, the law and the judgments rendered by the Honorable Supreme Court and Honorable High Court clearly envisage that doctors are absolved from criminal liability. I'm pretty sure that after going through these judgments, our law enforcement agencies will not lodge FIRs against doctors unless or until referred by healthcare commission and our district governments will not seal the premises of healthcare providers or will not seal the healthcare establishments unless or until referred or directed by the healthcare commission. With these words and with this hope that sanity will prevail, I thank you very much for the very patient hearing. Allah Hafiz.